know, by the way, how I got all the all these books, at least um, this series of them, um, was my mom signed me up for a uh, like a special fan club type thing where we'd also get videos through the mail, but we'd also get these cool books. So that's why I have so many of them. Like every month, we'd get like one or two books um, and a video. So cool. Greek. Sorry, not sorry. Um, next up is one that goes off of um, Duke and the Great Pie War. This is a night to remember. Is it by Doug Peterson? No, it's by Sidney Kenny and Doug Peterson. So it's okay. The jokes are really funny. Um, this one is a lesson in kindness. What's better than winning? Find out in this whimsical tale that teaches kids the, val the value of treating others the way you should, would like to be treated. Also, have I ever been showing the back of these books? I don't think I have. Here's the back chicken noodle Super Bowl. Very nice, very nice. Um, here's the back of Flair Boy and the Golden Bell Balls. Here's the back of Flair List the Way. And I think I showed you guys, the, yeah, I showed you guys the back of the Spaghetti Western. There we go, now we're all caught up. That's a cameo of Goliath, the giant pickle. But it's, there's, this, there's also a couple of these detective books. Um, this one is the only one that was in the Vegetables um, Values to Grow By series. It's called The Kid Crayon Caper. Yeah, The Kid Crayon Caper. This one's not by um, Doug Peterson, but it's still very good. This one is by Bobby G, G bleh, Bobby J G Wees and David Cody Wees. So, very nice. A lesson in saying you're sorry. Fame went to Kid Crayon's head, and his rudeness all, almost lost him his career. Luckily, detectives Bob and Larry taught Kid Crayon the importance of saying you're sorry. There's the back. Nice picture. Um. Okay, there was another one of those in the series. This one is, I, I like this one better because it's by Doug Peterson again. Um, this one is, is called Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Mop? Um, this one is a lesson in handling fear. Um, while investigating a spelling bee caper, Larry has to face the mop of his nightmares. Join Bob and Larry as they learn that when you have to conquer fear, it really helps to confide in somebody who always listens. There's the back. Puzzle piece going everywhere. Very nice. Um, this one is probably one of my least favorites, along with the next one coming up. Uh, this one is called Hats Off to Lyle. It's not a bad book. I just never read it that much. Um, a lesson in forgiveness. What normal Viking needs a hat cover? You'll be surprised. Sail along in this heroic tale of good versus stinky while learning the importance of forgiveness. You know that in love we can't forgive. Thumbs up if you know that song. You probably do. And that one is by Ronald Kidd. Uh, this one is another Wild Up on the Viking one. This one is called The Half Hearted Viking. This one is by Doug Peterson. I've never read this one a couple times. I've only read this one a couple times, but it's a very good book. Um, this one is A Lesson in Doing Your Best. On Sven and Olaf's vacation, their fun is cut short by their hotel service. Follow along to learn that putting your whole heart into something is really important. There's the back. I, I like this purple color. I like that. Um, this one is its own series of books. It had two books. Um, here's the first one of them. This is called The Mess Detectives. And this is the Don't Touchables. They have a, a long synopsis on the back. I won't read it all. I'll just read the beginning. The Mess Detectives starring Bob and Larry are back again to s sort through another mess and help kids learn a lesson about sharing. So this one's about sharing. There's the back. And here's the other Mess Detectives book. This one is called The Slob Father. VeggieTales presents a brand new book series called The Best Detective, starring Bob and Larry. 
These wacky mess detectives work to uncover mess messes and help kids understand how to use biblical values to come clean both inside and out. Um, this one doesn't, I'm not gonna read the whole synopsis, but this one is a lesson in telling the truth. There's the back, and the front again. Very nice. They're all sliding down here. I don't care. Um, this one is stuck to another book. Very nice. Oh, this one is the one that had the back ripped off. So I'll have to show you those separately. Here's the front of the book. This is called Fair and Squaresville. It's another Violet Lyle the Conley Viking book. And I'll hold that up while I read this. <laughs> that fell off. It's sold. Um, a lesson in playing fair. Taking advantage of visitors is the name, the name of the game on Cheaters Island. Thanks to Lyle and his friends, the, the island's residents realize that playing fair is fun. And there's the picture. Very, very nice. It came ripped off. I don't know why. Set it to rip off. Uh, here's another one um, from uh, The Battle of Little Joe. This one is called The Fastest Dodgeball in the West. Um, a lesson in good, doing good deeds. Rattlesnake Ricky was just released from jail and he's looking for Sheriff Bob. Will this be the end of Sheriff Bob's dodgeball throwing days forever? Learn how doing good deeds is a great way to make friends, even the most unlikely, even with the most unlikely people. I love this character. This character is good. This is a very good book. I like this book a lot. Uh, next, we have another. This is finally another um, Duke of the Great Power. This is my favorite out of the two that I have. This one is called Good Night Duke. Um, all of the books previously mentioned are all by. Oh, wait up. Fair and Squaresville was by Alaya Zobel Nolan. Um, but all the others so far have been by, well, this one, <laughs> this one is by Ronald Kidd. It's a very good book. Um, a lesson in being nice. What's Duke supposed to do when the mean meanest knight in the whole kingdom challenges him? Join the crowd as Duke shows how to be nice to others, even when they're not being kind-hearted in return. That's a nice picture of Larry and the, the villain in this book. Very nice. Second to last. Oh, I have another copy of Hats Off to Lyle. That's right, I had a couple duplicates. Um, so, you've seen this one already. And lastly, this one was my favorite Battle of the Little Joe one. Um, this is The Good, The Bad, and The Silly. A lesson in making good choices. Will Cowboy Larry take the long, hard road, or will he cheat and take the easy path during his cattle drive test? Right along to see how he realizes the importance of doing what's right. And there is the back. So that is 17 minutes of vlog.